Uh, delta H hydration of ions also depend on uh, two factors. One is your charge, the other one is your size. The smaller you are, if you agree, group three metal sodium is uh, larger than magnesium, which is larger than aluminum. The smaller you are, the higher your delta H hydration, also your charge. If you have one valency versus two valency versus three plus for aluminum, you see it has the highest uh, delta H hydration. Another example that this comes across is if you look at Fe2 plus versus Fe3 plus, uh, iron three is smaller and also uh, highly charged and you see the delta H hydration is greatly increased compared to Fe2 plus. So two factors just like delta H enthalpy of lattice are your size and your charge. The smaller you are and the higher your charge, the greater your delta H hydration. Now I want to solve one other problem. Sometimes you're challenged to find delta H hydration for an ion that is not there. So for uh, this example, uh, I'm giving you a portion of uh, your table 19 and table 20 and we are dealing with ammonium, uh, ammonium chloride. So this is delta H solution for that. And also you have hydration of chloride, but there is no hydration for ammonium. And that's being questioned in this problem. Also delta H enthalpy of lattice is given to us. So same as before, if you take your salt, ammonium chloride in solid form, if you dissolve it in enough water, to produce ions of ammonium aqueous and chloride in dilute uh, concentration. This is delta H solution, which the value is given to us. In this case, it's endothermic and it's 14.78 uh, kilojoules. Now, if we take this salt and make it into gaseous ions, NH4 plus gas plus chloride gas. This is delta H lattice, lattice enthalpy, and that value is 705 endothermic process. Now if we dissolve our gases into enough water to produce uh, dilute solutions, this is delta H hydration of ammonium, which we don't know, uh, plus delta H hydration of chloride, which we know. Then again, remember we are applying Hess's law, so sum of these two arrows in green should equal delta H solution. So let's just put them equal to each other. So delta H solution is equal to Delta H lattice enthalpy plus delta H hydration of ammonium, which is our question, plus delta H hydration of chloride. Let's put values. Solution is 14.78 equals 705 uh, plus delta H hydration of ammonium. plus delta H uh, hydration of chloride, which is minus 359. So 14.78 is equal to, I'm going to add these two quantities to each other first, which is 346 plus delta H hydration of ammonium. Now I take uh, this quantity to other side of equality, so delta H hydration of am ammonium should be exothermic, and it is, and it's uh, this value uh, in negative, so negative 331.2 kilojoule per mole. So sometimes uh, information is missing and you need to bring it back to life.